Hi Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming in your direction this May 2023. Now, if you're interested in the extended portion of this reading where I'll be shuffling uh, these decks right here to give you added bonus exclusive content, then take a look down below in the description box and click on my official Patreon link. That's going to take you over to my Patreon and there you can take a look at tier number two, the Oracle of Revelation, and there you will have access to my uh, extended portion of this reading. Now, I created tier number two to also include Include tier number one, which is my weekly pick a card reading with life shuffling, focusing on the messages that you need to know for the week ahead. So for those of you that are visiting for the first time, welcome. My name is Lexa Taro and down below in the description box, you can take a look at my credentials as well as my website on Paths of Healing. I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle uh, reader. Uh, and I wanna thank you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to give me those thumbs up. So continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. As you see here, Scorpio, we're starting off with this blessing very quickly here with true love. And that's what came out for you as the start of these beautiful blessings that are coming in your direction. Okay. Now it says here, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Okay. Now, this is beautiful. This is love in um, in many different aspects of your life. It could be, of course, in your love life and your career, like the love and the passion and the devotion that you have for your career. It could be your family, your friends, your loved ones, okay? Uh, the love of what you do as a hobby or as a side job, okay? The love and passion that you have for the hobbies, okay? And I'm also feeling here, Okay. There's this sense of unconditional love for yourself, like being more compassionate, more gentle, more nurturing here in the month of May. Okay. So that is how this is coming across. Now, the fact that this is this like beautiful orangey color, this is um, really, really speaks to me. It's talking to me as this being very much connected to your sacral chakra, which is the body energy center. Okay. Of the sacral chakra. That's your second uh, chakra in your body. All right. Now, what I'm feeling here is that there is a sense of ignited passion here. OK, for some of you, this is in love. For others of you, it's in your career. So I feel this sense of being bold, uh, moving, moving things forward, having the passion, the ambition, the yang energy to really take those risks here in the month of May. I feel opportunities are coming your direction and those are going to be opportunities that you're going to take if you feel that you are in a way intuitively guided or have this emotion of like, I really want to do this. Like I'm really passionate about this opportunity where I'm, I'm really passionate about this um, goal, um, or I'm very passionate about this creative idea. So I feel that passion has a lot to do here with the blessing that's coming in your direction here in the month of May. Okay. So wanted to, uh, kind of give you that, uh, extra bonus message there for you as I begin. I'm also seeing clairvoyantly, um, the king of wands energy. Now, don't worry about the fact that I'm saying king, um, because it's not about gender. It's about the leadership. It's about the, uh, the ability that you're going to embrace this energy here in the month of May, and you're really going to propel yourself forward. Okay. So the king of wands energy is all about getting things done. All right. It's all about being that risk taker. It's about really, um, tuning in and and, and, and just kind of like really connecting to that fire in your belly and moving yourself and propelling yourself into these confident, bold moves that are going to propel you and move you towards other paths or help you in other directions. Okay. Now it's interesting that I'm seeing the, the, the King of Wands, uh, card in tarot, um, 
clairvoyantly because that's also having to do with travel so some of you there is this sense of you taking a trip traveling maybe even meeting someone from abroad for others of you maybe making more global connections in regards to your career okay so that's how i'm seeing them seeing travel as well all right let's take a look here at how else this is coming in your direction what other blessings seven of swords energy there may be this kind of blessing in disguise something that in your mind you may have felt as a missed opportunity this could have been something that you may have been feeling in the month of april like you missed an opportunity or something wasn't um the way you wanted it or the timing or maybe it was delayed but what I'm feeling here is that the seven of wands energy, it's turning its way around because what you felt or what you thought, especially here with the swords energy, what you thought was a missed opportunity. Okay. With the seven of swords, this is telling me that it's going to be a blessing in disguise. It was for a reason for others of you here. You may feel that there was a sense of lack of transparency about something, um, perhaps the you know recently or the last couple of months or maybe last month as well but there's a sense of that something just wasn't right and what this is telling me here is that that will be turning itself around so wherever you felt that you were being deceived betrayed or a sense of loss here don't worry about it because true love is really what's coming in your direction here as a blessing in this month of may Right behind the seven of swords, you have here the two of wands. There is a sense of a vision. And I said this before, I'm feeling yang energy and yang energy is all about that fire energy, which is connected to the sacral chakra and which is also connected to the king of wands energy that I was seeing clairvoyantly earlier. Okay. So there's this vision that you are going to be planning for there may be an opportunity that you may see up ahead and that you are going to be taking a look at how can you um use that you know kind of like that downtime or that time of waiting to go get it or waiting to go grab it so like i said something here may have been a delay or a challenge you thought that it was a missed opportunity but in reality it's just giving you more time to plan even better the two of wands energy is what I call kind of like that waiting in the room, like that waiting room energy. It's a time that here in the month of May, you're going to start thinking about decisions for the future. Okay. You're going to be thinking about what is the next step. You're going to spend that time really taking a look at the past path and perhaps a new path that may be opening up in your direction. Okay. Now, I have so much more to share with you here, Scorpio, but just look down below in the description box and click on that Patreon link where I'm going to be using all these decks here to talk about the potential blessings in your love life and your career. In the meantime, click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here and click up here for messages that you may have missed before on other months of blessings. Take care and I'll meet you on Patreon.